what is up everybody welcome back to the channel you guys in today's video i'm going to simply just take you through my thought process through my setup um and really just kind of walk you through um a Facebook conversions ad for one of my friends. Shout out to So Beard out there in England, United Kingdom, crushing the whole London scene when it comes to social media marketing for automotive, um, for the entire automotive industry and for garages out there. Um, huge emphasis on video and, and, and social media marketing and Facebook advertising. So my buddy, Rick reached out and said, David, can you do me a huge favor and just take a look at the account? Can you go in there and clean up a few things and just and just make sure that that the that all the pieces to the puzzle are connected and making make sure that everything is flowing? So I said, hell yeah, man, I'll jump in and I'll kind of see, you know, what's going on and see what kind of tweaks I can make and what kind of advice I can give. So I thought I'd share it with you guys. I'm over here on my on my YouTube channel and, and all my YouTube fans, sh family, shout out to every single one of you. If you're new to the channel, my name is David. I'm out here in San Diego. I drop a lot of content on Facebook advertising, landing pages, sales funnels, and social media marketing. Um, I kind of focus on real estate agents, but every now and then, um, because of my YouTube channel, it's been growing and, and I'm, I'm attracting many different entrepreneurs from different spaces. I tend to get messages from different different people um, in different industries. And I always like to extend my hand and, and really extend my value whenever I can. So shout out to Rick um, with So Beard out there crushing it. Um, and again, I just wanted to share it with you guys. So in this video, you guys, I'm going to simply walk you through a few key components that you want to really look for. Um, the whole setup, I just walked through this. entire. I just, I just got done setting up this entire campaign, which I'll show you. Um, but also, I want to show you the the other components that are so so important when you know when when it comes down to just this one ad. So, with this, what what the whole intention is, you guys, the whole objective is to capture leads, is to get appointments. Okay, so what he's doing is he's driving it, he's driving the traffic to a a Kartra page, to a landing page that is designed to capture not necessarily just capture the lead, but also schedule the appointment. And so it's this simple page right here that he's driving traffic to. Um, so when that ad is is seen in the newsfeed, they click, which I'll show you the ad. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to walk you through pretty much everything. But they're taken to this simple page right here where there's a simple intro video. And, and the, whole, the, whole, the whole goal is to get them to, to smash that button and schedule a call, right? So right when that button is hit, a calendar opens up and there goes the appointment. Okay, so um, we use Kartra for for a lot of this, you guys, for the for the landing pages, for the email automation, um, and and especially for the online calendar. So um, this is just a full blown page, right? Services that they offer. So really cool page that that we put together, simple, clean, and and super super effective. So the ad is going out. They're clicking. They're landing here. Okay, so. This is conversion. So when you come in and when you smash this green button, you always gotta, you always wanna, wanna make sure that you know exactly, you know what you're doing, right? What the goal is. You know, sometimes you put out a video and the goal is just to get thousands of people to view it. Sometimes you put out a, an image post and the whole goal is is to just get people to engage. Okay. Um, and then in, in many cases, which which many businesses, you know, I would I would say ninety plus percent. If you ever run an ad, the whole freaking goal is to is to hit one of the main conversions, hit one of the main um, events. Special events is what Facebook calls it. Conversion special events, and the and and one of the main three is a point, or actually all three is either I'm running an ad to capture a lead, I'm running an ad to get someone to schedule an appointment. Or I'm running an ad to get someone to freaking make a sell, to buy something, right? So it's either lead, appointment, or sell. That's conversions, right? That is conversions. So nine out of ten of your of your favorite favorite marketers um, out there that are that are really doing it online, Facebook advertising specifically, they run conversion ads. In fact, ten out of ten. Ten out of ten will be running conversion ads. Now the whole the whole purpose of of all of these other ones is really just to get in my professional opinion and based on my real experience in the, in the ad account for the past few years the only reason why you'd even run any of these other ones is to is to is to get the ad account going to start spending money to let facebook know hey man i'm serious here's my credit card start smashing it start you know freaking hitting the credit card a few times that is so important in the beginning of a brand new ad account and that's why a lot of times with my clients i'll have them run a like ad 
first just to get the ad account warmed up to let Facebook know, hey, man, here's the credit card, smash it a few times and let's just get this thing started. Right. So that's one reason why you'd run a video ad, you'd run a traffic ad, you'd run an engagement ad to, to get the, uh, the, the ad account warmed up, right? But another reason is to collect the data, aka the custom audience. And I'm going to show you all the behind the scenes of, of that as well. But if you're going to be running a traffic ad, an engagement ad, a video view ad, um, a brand awareness ad, a reach ad, um, a message ad, well, yeah, message ad as well, for sure. And even lead generation shit. If you're running any of the damn ads, any of these objectives, setting up a custom audience is the most important. And that's one thing that 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 I I feel most don't talk about is the importance of custom audiences, which I'm going to show you our setup, right? But but if you're running any of those, you you want to make sure that you set up a custom audience right away. And so again, in his account, that's what I'm looking for. That's what I'm 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 really trying to tweak for him is making sure that everything is connected, right? Everything is flowing. Custom audiences are set up. So in this case, we're running a conversion ad, right? The conversion ad, and so. Before you even go conversions, before you even click the green button and go straight into conversions, here's what you want to set up first. You want to set up a custom conversion. The custom conversion is based on the thank you page. Okay, so as, as I'm showing you these two pages, right, we have the opt-in page and then we have the call confirm page, right? So when they go to the page and they hit that button and they schedule an appointment, once that customer, once that lead, not customer, but once that lead schedules that appointment or they opt in to, to and, and now you capture the lead or they bought something from you, whatever page they land on next, that's your confirmation page. That's your thank you page. That In this case, it's a call confirm page. If you're selling something, that's your thank you for purchasing page. The actual thank you page, right? That needs to be a whole different link. And so that's this page right here. So if I just opened up this page for you guys real quick, let me, um, in fact, I got these damn lines in the way, the white lines. So you guys might be seeing a bunch of white lines. I'm blocking a bunch of stuff out, right? Um, just for privacy. But this right here is the thank you page. So a custom conversion, before you go in and set up a, before you go in and run a conversion, a custom conversion is based on this link right here. You have to let Facebook know what the conversion event is, what link, what page, what is the most important link domain that, that you're trying to get people to. That's the link we're, we're going to set up a custom conversion around. So what you would do, and I'm going to tie these full-blown tutorial videos down in the description, how to set up a custom conversion, how to install your pixel, how to set up a custom audience. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to link those in the description, but today I'm just giving you a, 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 a 30,000 uh, 30, foot overview um, view of, of, of the actual campaign and these, these super important components that you want to have set up. Um, a conversion, a custom conversion is one of them. So this right here, this link, that's set up as a custom conversion. And so right here, this is the custom conversion, right? So, I'm, so again, the link in the description will show you, hey, click on this blue button. It'll walk you through the full-blown tutorial on how to set that up. But I'm just, again, giving you the overview of it. So there's our custom conversion. It's active, right? And so once you set it up, and again, in the video, in the description, you'll see, once you set it up, you want to go to that page, that confirmation page, refresh it just so Facebook can read it for the first time. And you'll see this pixel right here. Actually, well, if you guys don't have this pixel helper, you guys can easily install. It's a free plugin, Facebook pixel helper. Um, you can Google it, Facebook pixel helper, and you'll, you'll, um, you'll get it from the Chrome store. And you want to install it because this gives you good tracking. It allows not good tracking, but it gives you good. Uh, it gives you it gives you um, um, what's the damn word I'm looking for. It just allows me to know that my shit's working. Right. So it sits here at the top. If I'm on anyone's website, this thing will light up and, and it'll let me know that that person's pixeling me, which I don't have it there for that reason. I just have it here, the Facebook pixel helper, so I can test and, 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 and make sure that my my pixels are working. Right. So there's the actual. Um, um, proof that the pixel is set up, the conversion is set up, and, and you want to make sure you refresh that. Once you refresh the page, then over here in the, in the, in the, in the custom conversion 
um, event area, this will become active. So we know our custom conversion is, is active and that right there is, is good. So that's one thing. Make sure you set up the custom conversion first, okay? That's one thing. And then once you actually run the ad, right? Once you set everything up, once you go, go from, from, from step one, what I call the campaign level to step two, the ad set level to step three, the actual, um, the ad level, right? These are the three steps, right? Campaigns, ad sets, and then and then you have over here to the right, camp, um, ads, ads for one campaign. But once you actually set up the ad, one thing you wanna do right away is set up a, a custom audience, especially if it's a video, right? So it's this one right here. Um, and I'm going to set that, I'm going to, I'm going to um, um, link that description, link that in the description as well, that video on how to set up a custom audience. That's what I did over here. So I made sure that, that a custom audience, because it's, it's a video ad that, that, that is being ran. So you want to make sure you set up a custom audience around that right away. Okay. The moment you set up the ad, come back here before it's even fully approved, before it even goes live set up a custom audience. Okay. So again, that video will be in the description on how to set up a custom audience. So one thing you also want to do is make sure that you are, are, um, um, that you set up the actual iOS 14 integration, right? So that that's super, super important as well. So once you set up your custom conversion, Facebook will actually push you to set up the, the, the configuration aggregated event measurement. And so from over here, I'm, I'm viewing it from over here. So you can click on the three lines to the left, click on events manager, and that will bring you to this page right here. Okay. So down here, I can simply click on aggregated event measurement and then click on the blue configure web events. And then over here, you're looking for the actual domain um, that, it, that, that, that it's being, that it's being sent to, right? And it's this domain right here. This also needs to be verified. So I'll link that video in the description as well on how to verify your actual domain with Facebook and with your domain registrar. I highly recommend GoDaddy for your for your domains. Um, some of you guys use a bunch of different domain registrars, but um, I, I get all my domains through GoDaddy and it's super simple on how to integrate it with Facebook through GoDaddy. So I'll link that in the description as well. But in here, I can click over here, go to manage events, click on edit. And you'll see right here the web configuration, the web event configuration. This is super important. This is required actually. Um, in here, you just click the drop down, go to custom conversion, and then choose that custom conversion. This is the custom conversion that we just set up. Okay, so this part is super, super important. It's required. Um, and I'll link all these videos in the description on how to do that. So that looks good over here. So again, the whole purpose of this video is just to kind of give you an overview of, of me going in and making sure that all the T's are crossed, all the I's are dotted, and making sure that all the pieces to the puzzle are right here, which it is. So this is the full-blown walkthrough of, of what needs to be set up prior to that ad being, 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 being live. Okay, so web event configuration, that looks good. Um, and then we have the actual ad. So in here, what you want to do is, again, when you click that green button, you're going conversions. And so in here, as you go through the setup of the, of the conversion, you'll also come to the second step, which is the ad set level. And in the ad set level is where you'll see the actual custom conversion. So as I come in here to the second step, I'll scroll down. There's the pixel and there is the custom conversion. Okay, so sometimes by default it's there um, and sometimes it's not. So if, it, if you don't see it there, then you'll just simply click inside the box and you'll see the drop down and then you'll find it in the drop down. So that looks like it's going well um, or that it's set up well, the custom con the conversion event is the custom conversion. So that's perfect. Okay, so one last thing I wanted to show you was the actual ad. You always wanna, um, you know, take a look at the actual ad in real time. And that's what I always, you know, try to try to show my clients is look at the ad in real time. And the, to do that, click on the edit and then come over here to share. And, and the one, one way I do it is just go down here to Facebook desktop newsfeed. And then once you click on that, uh, another browser will pop up and you'll just kind of scroll down, scroll down, and then you'll see the ad, right? So here's the ad right here. So there's the text. There's the video, there's the learn more, right? So we click on learn more and it takes us straight to a page, which 
we built this page inside of Kartra. So if you guys are new to, to, to online marketing and, and capturing leads and email automation, one huge reason why I use Kartra is because of not just the landing pages, but because of the email automation and the online calendar. So if you're in the client services business, those two services, those two softwares are super, super important. Your email autoresponder and your online calendar. So in Kartra, it happens to all come in one. Um, so if you're into that type of stuff, there's a link in the description, profitwithkartra.online. There's a 14-day trial. You can play around with it. Once you activate your 14-day trial, you'll receive an email from me with the opportunity to jump on for a, a free strategy call where I walk you through and teach you how to use the entire platform for free. So activate your 14-day trial. That link is in the description. But simple capture page um, designed to, to, to get appointments for So Beard. So that's kind of what I wanted to show you guys. Um, what else can I kind of touch on with this video? Um, that's about it. So this this ad is going to be going live and, and, and they're just getting started, man. They're just getting started. So I'm super fired up for them. I'm super fired up for you guys. So if you're new to the channel, subscribe. My name is David. Again, if Facebook ads, online marketing, paid traffic, if social media marketing is your thing, hit the bell for notifications. Drop me a comment below. Let me know where you guys are coming from and let me know how I can bring value to what you're doing online. All right, guys. So step your game up. Organic is one thing, but paid traffic is what you'll find on this channel. All right, guys, so I'll see you on the next one over and out.